Hello fellow simmers, it's Samuel Beeman here of BLS uh, doing another video for Train Simulator 2020 and a preview of a route that we are in progress of working on and have been in progress on working on for quite some time now. So this is the British Locomotive Studios Whitwell and Reapham Railway uh, which is uh, basically a small heritage railway um, Basically, it was opened around about 2009, I believe, is when it was opened. And uh, basically, it um, it's only a short run. Uh, obviously, it has a couple of carriages, coaches, locomotives on display. Um, I think it has a seven and a quarter inch gauge, narrow gauge railway on the top field. Um, and it has a short demonstration running line. And uh, eventually the railway plans to uh, run into the Whitwell and Reapham station itself and then hopefully one day extend all the way up to Lengwade and um, uh, further up towards uh, the Femblethorpe curb and stuff like that uh, as part of the Norfolk Orbital Railway um, scheme. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's unpause our game and take a look into this preview of this route. So it is a work in progress, guys. Uh, I don't know when its release date will be. Uh, I'm still working on it and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty unfinished. Uh, most of the station area is pretty well detailed. Um, there's still little bits and pieces that need doing, like areas obviously as you can see are quite barren. Um, and you know, just need little bits of detailing here and there. And uh, obviously the surrounding area as well needs sorting out. And then I can release it. Uh, there will be some custom signs and other bits and pieces also implemented to the route. I'll delve into that later. But without further ado, let's unpause our game. And today we're going to be driving the 040 Saddle Tank Invincible from the Isle of Wight add-on pack. Uh, originally from Just Trains. So it's not going to be a very long video. It's just going to be a preview. Anyway, so here we are at uh, the demonstration train platform here, which is just a wooden halt platform, which you have uh, you probably recognise. Uh, we also have the benches and stuff as well outside of that, where people can sit and have their lunch and things like that. So this is Whitwell Station. I mean, I know it's not a 100% accurate representation of the station building yet, but it is there as a placement. Uh, whether this will be custom built yet, I do not know, but for now, it is um, it is how it is and it is what it is so that is Whitwell station there um, obviously we have our way into the uh, the sort of uh, the the because um, inside inside this shed bit here there's usually the the marquee where they have all the food and drinks and bits and pieces served in there and we also have the lovely Whitwell uh, good shed there which I made, believe it or not, uh, I built this basically like Lego, I suppose you could say. Because basically, originally, this was a, uh, a good shed from, I believe, the Woodhead route. And basically what happened was, is that the where, where, the, 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 good, where the shed was positioned, where, the, where, the, where the, the entrance into the shed was positioned, the entrance was around about here, I believe, in a square, like a door on the, on the side. Um, and basically what I did was I filled that in and then I added another door on the front here in the middle because the actual goods shed is in the centre so yeah so basically I just well mucked about with that to build you a uh, accurate representation of the Whitwell goods shed and that is if you look at pictures and if you've been to the railway yourself you'll see that that is quite an accurate and very well done representation of their goods shed so obviously we have, uh, obviously these are all the sidings, this is where usually stuff is stored, obviously not at this point because I'm just doing a basic free roam. Um, we also have the uh, this secondary platform here which is just has a port cabin on usually which is represented there. And we also have a lot of bits and pieces like, you know, locos under restoration and other bits and pieces. There's still uh, lots of bits I still need to put down now, I need to literally just uh, make this place full of shit basically it needs to be full up of railway objects um, because this is where most of their restoration stuff is um, and yeah so coming round the back uh, actually we'll drive our loco up we'll drive our loco up before I show you those bits 
Um, we've got a stop look listen sign which is there in reality you'll notice and, and, and the bench there which is all nicely represented. So let's get our locomotive moving put ourselves in reverse and release our brake which is that way need to check if our points are set they are indeed so we can uh, depart Obviously, as you can see, the track being used for this route is from the West Highland Line, Fort William to Malague route. So that is quite a requirement, uh, an essential requirement for the route itself. As you see, we've got the we've got the car park and everything here. Uh, there's meant to be fencing around here and a lot more bushes that need to be done, but that will get sorted out uh, in due course. We do have the whistle sign there, modelled in there, looking pretty good isn't it? Uh, the Whitwell signal box, that isn't quite sorted yet, that needs to be uh, obviously custom made somehow. And we've got the point that leads to nowhere. So this is based on the uh, 2009 to 2018 I believe, sort of era. So we've got the cycle path alongside there, which is obviously there's fencing usually up here which needs to be implemented in. So now we shall return back to our halt platform, as it were, on our return trip. So obviously this route is obviously a very, very short route. Um, it's based on a working, obviously it's a working railway museum at the moment, Whitwell and Reapham. And so the route is mostly based, obviously it's mostly a shunting layout, I suppose you could call it. Um, something to have fun with really, uh, shunting bits and pieces around. So I might get some, um, I think the route would be nice for some good shunting puzzle scenarios. So I might make some nice challenging puzzling puzzle scenarios for people to um, work with when I release the route. As you can see, there's the path into the station over there. We even have um, these like steps, the, 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 the wooden steps that go up. If you look at um, videos and stuff on YouTube, you'll see all this stuff is there in reality. Yeah, so um, basically let me know in the comments what you think of this route, uh, what I've done so far, and uh, yeah, 
give us some feedback on it. I mean, it's a heavy work in progress, as I say, um, but it's coming along quite nice. So as we've had, obviously, a, quite a Norfolk vibe recently with the release of Traction Studios' um, Mid-Norfolk Railway Phase 1, I thought that it would be a good thing to just sort of show off this route, and here we are. Alright, and now we can pull ourselves back into the Hulk platform. And then that is basically it really, that is the full length run of the route. Um, the Whitwell and Reapham Railway don't go any longer than that, or any further. Not yet anyway. They plan to, they plan to. As I say, it's more of a working museum as it were. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's have a look around the station. Okay, so what have I done around the station? Okay, so we've just got a basic building, obviously, at the moment. Um, we have the wheel. Uh, this is probably something that you guys will be well known about. This is usually the red, the red wheel thing on the station platform. So that's there. Obviously, it's not red, it's silver, but it's there to represent it. Got fire buckets on the side of the station there. Obviously, as I say, the signal box is just a temporary one at the minute, and it still needs to be custom made. We even have the, the doors on the back of the um, where the marquee is. Uh, these are uh, basically the, the doors out of the, um, of the building into this garden area here. Uh, I might try and put a black screen behind this just to make it look a little bit more realistic than just having the door on a, on a, you know, on a, on a brick wall as it were. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's all done there and looking nice. Um, what else have I got to show? Okay, so the outside section, so I've done a little bit on the outside, so we've got these, this, this prototypical um, sort of, there's a lot of this around Norfolk, you get this, this kind of fencing around the, the old, um, oh, it does look quite cracking doesn't it, uh, around the um, sort of Norfolk's railways, so that's, that's all there, and also I have started work here as well doing all these bushes and stuff, and I was basically looking at um, I went on Google Maps actually and put a little man down uh, just to have a look at what kind of bushes and stuff are alongside this road here. So I've basically just copied that and implemented it in. We have the bridge here which goes over uh, the old section of line. Uh, that's there and that's using the lavender line asset currently. So the bridge is there. And as you can see down here, and I like to do this with my roots, I like to just sort of look, I'll get a little man and plonk him down on Google Maps and just check and see what kind of bushes I can see and bits and pieces. And I've even put like little, de tiny little details like the gate into the, into the, into the field, as well as putting all of the correct bushes, uh, correct grass, correct trees, all in that specific area. And I just like doing stuff like that. And also we've got the road going up here, which is yet to be, um, created and we've also got the road down here which obviously as you can see is all overgrown it all just needs work really um, and obviously the fencing alongside the line needs to be done as well so it is a massive work in progress as you can see there there's still plenty to do here it's nowhere near uh, finished just yet but this is what I've got so far and yeah so this has been my video for today basically so, thanks guys for watching this preview of the Whitwell and Reapham Railway by British Locomotive Studios. Uh, and yeah, just let us know what you think about it in the comments. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our website and Facebook page. I'll link them both in the description of the video. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys soon. Goodbye for now.